Hi everyone, Peter Gregory at Gregory Tech Drum Center. Thanks for finding me. I'm posting a few videos and uh, specifically for students of mine uh, and I'm hoping that you, other people will find these useful and have some fun with these ideas. It's kind of all over the map with the various things my students are working on and I love that. I love the fact that I get to play and try to help people figure out all these different styles. So Andrew is working on the 2-3 Son Clave and the Cascara. If you haven't studied Clave at all and the whole Afro-Cuban thing, a world, it's a huge world and uh, something that I, I, I really love that stuff. So Clave means key, so that's the key to, the, to this music and to the rhythms that are being played within this music. The two three clave refers to the fact that in the first bar of a two bar phrase, we'll have two beats or we'll have two hits on the clave. And then the third, second bar will have three hits. So if I have a clave of a two three son clave, and I'll think in two two. So one and two and one and two and one and two and one and a two and one and two and one and a two and one two and one and a two and one and two and one and a two and one. This is very rhythmically challenging uh, because what's going to happen is uh, I, I grew up playing rock. And I was always wanting to hear a bass drum, of course, on beat one and a two and a four, that kind of thing. This is way different. <laughs> and this has been a challenge for me to learn some of this. Uh, listening to all this music is wonderful, by the way. So whatever music you're trying to get your head around, please listen to it. Uh, I, we can write stuff down all day long, but listen to the people, listen to the masters. Um, so. The cascara, if I play the cascara up on the hi-hat for a moment, and one, and two, and one, and a two, and one, and two, and one, and a two, and one, two, and a, uh, uh. The cascara is usually played by the timbali player on the side of the timbales. Uh, there are situations where there's no timbali player or no kunga player. And it's all up to the drum set guy to try to cover all these parts. And so that's one thing we're looking at here. And this is, uh, this is great. I, uh, I, li I like that idea. I could play on this. On, I'm probably not going to play on the side of my nice floor tom. I have other floor toms I wouldn't mind doing that on. I'm not going to do it on this kit. Uh, but I might play on a rim. I might play that cascara rhythm on the rim of a floor tom, the bell of a cymbal, an actual cowbell. All of these sound sources are possible. Okay, I'll play on the side of the floor tom. So th this is this is closer to the sound of a of a timbali. Most timbales are metal, but one, two, one, two.
this is a, a challenging rhythm. Uh, there's some real inherent accents in the cascara. So ch I'll play it without playing the clave pattern. One, two, one, and a two, and. Now, we're going to see if we can replicate that conga player the who's not here. Two, one, two, one, uh, two. I'm going to slow that one down. I haven't added any bass drum or hi-hat. Again, we're trying to apply these very traditional sounds and rhythms to the drum set. I want to be very careful. Uh, I'm not going to play a bass drum unless it makes sense. I'm certainly not going to play a bass drum on beat one. There's a whole thing about getting into the tumbao rhythm, which uh, we will look at maybe in a later video. But right now I'm trying to get this basic idea together. So I'm going to slow this one down where I'm going to play the cascara rhythm and I'm playing it up on the bell of a, my ride cymbal. And then I've got this little one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one. And if you watch a hand drummer, watch a good kungero, the little slap they're getting, that's replicating that sound. If you like the sound of the butt end of the stick across the snare drum, fine, as the cross stick sound, a little beefier sounding, and many times I like that idea. But this little left hand pattern, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So, very interesting where things line up and where they don't line up. If I play it really slowly, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, and four, and one, two, So I started getting a little bit of the bass drum in there. We'll work more on that idea. That's there's This is a deep well from which to draw. A lot of stuff is happening in, in these tunes and in these rhythms. Listen to Tito Puente, the king of the mambo, the mambo king. Check this stuff out. Apply it to your drumming. Get a backbeat in there if you want. There, uh, you can keep that cascara rhythm going and, and see if you can get a backbeat and, and use it on a tune like that. It's wonderful. Uh, these little things that I'm doing with my left hand near the second part of this video. Uh, again, the Kungero. There's no uh, room on the stage or there's just no room in the budget 
And so I'm replicating or trying to replicate the sounds of instruments that are not here. Uh, these little ideas really are fun to play. One, two, da, 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 da. Have fun with it. Just getting started here, so uh, I hope you liked it and come back more for more. I'm going to be doing more. This is Peter Gregory. This is Gregory Tech Drum Center. I'm going to create a video where I kind of walk around the, the studio as well. Uh, but for now, thanks for finding me. And Andrew, hope you found this useful. Get back to me, and uh, I'll see you soon for your next lesson. And everybody else, I uh, hope to see you guys as well. Thank you.